Hello everyone, and welcome to Rocco's Bullshit Life. Egg! I'm, I'm Rocco, and I'm here to talk to you about recording. <laughs> yeah, so we're a little bit late because, um... Because we are. Basically. <laughs> I was um, the first one in the call. Vandy was the first one in the call, it's true. And the first one to lie on stream. Wow, <laughs> Vandy. <laughs> wow! <laughs> well, technically this isn't Rocco's Bullshit Life, so... It was probably me who lied first. It, unless mm. it is. <gasps> Welcome to Mooncast, a Werewolf 20th Edition TTRPG. Werewolf the Apocalypse 20th Edition TTRPG. Close enough. Uh, we've done a couple of episodes now, and we're going into the third. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, because we're going to maybe find things out. I, I saw a comment of someone who's like, Yo, Sheepy, how do you manage to construct a world with only one NPC and still loads of secrets? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yes. Uh, I also, um, I can't record on OBS again for some reason. So those of you who enjoy the meme of Sheepdog for forgot to record, go nuts. I feel like one of you maybe designed a virus and sent it to me specifically to stop the recording. <laughs> at this point. Now, which one of you did it? Not it. So. <laughs> Charles is like, it was me. It was me the whole day. I think first up, uh, we'll do the standard intros. So, because he's eating, Josh, go first. I you put a bit in my mouth? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> oh, I can have a snack. Hi, I'm Josh. Josh. I'm really enjoying <laughs> Jacob's Savers. Sweet chili thins. <laughs> Jacob's like... if you'd like to sponsor us. No, just give me give me sweet chili thins. They're good. Um hi, I'm playing North. Uh who has a dry mouth. But not for the fun reason. And I also mm. Do, oh, Stitch of Fate's coming back soon. There's okay. one episode up. If you want to see it, hear Max's backstory, Vampire Show, whatever, that's fun. I'm here to be a, 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 a werewolf. And if you if you watch if you watch the premieres <laughs> if you watch the premieres of Stitch of Fate in on Strange Adventures, I'm sometimes in there because I managed to catch the last one. I was really proud. Of mm. I, however, was not in the last one. No, he wasn't. <laughs> I was like, hey, Josh, crickets. It was, it was busy. So, everyone's wise to my antics and no one's eating or drinking, so I guess I'll just move on to whoever. Uh, Vandy, <laughs> and also uh, Persephone. I was considering eating just so I could get out of the way so I could continue eating. <laughs> Sorry, I saw that test. That's sly. You wait until <laughs> I intro, intro someone else and you're like... You're right. Uh, hi, I'm Vandy. I play Percy, Persephone who is uh, a werewolf who drank turtle water and is a bit of a healer, a bit of a lore keeper, and who's very interested in whatever this uh, this bear man, man bear, uh, has to say. So I'm very much looking forward to all this lore dump. And I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to listen. Okay. Yeah. Um... Moving on to Tezuchka and also Whisper. Hi. Um, I have literally lost all the thoughts in my brain. Um, oh. <laughs> I'm obsessed with cats and I stream on the channel and I just had dental surgery and things hurt, but it's all good. <laughs> um, no, you guys are all awesome. Thank you so much for being here. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to... to uh, woo. <laughs> You, you know what? Before we introduce the last player, I think we could get a little wolf howl. Josh, can you do a little wolf howl for us? Not while I'm muted. Owl! <laughs> Who is that amazing Foley artist? You should hire them. Speaking sure. of, uh, Tash and also uh, Ulysses. Hi! <laughs> that me. Um, I'm Tashna. I play the video games and i do my makeup sometimes and i'm very clumsy because i just spilt tea on my own hand 
and um that's what i've got going on right now how are you how's chat hello <laughs> tell me about your day <laughs> <laughs> Did you take over my stream <laughs> <laughs> just check in. We're in the just chatting category, right? Yeah, apparently, we are. Yeah. <laughs> um, gonna be playing Ulysses today. I'm definitely. I need to like find my Zen real quick. Yeah. Um, it's just it's run away. I don't know where it's living. It's not in my it's head. It's probably off with my brain in like Timbuktu or something. Yeah. Okay. I'm just having well, a grand just, old time. <laughs> I'll check at the bottom of this teacup and hope for the best. It's all right. I'll just be really chill while I do while I do the recap, and you can just drift off to my voice, and then just be in. A... No, because uh, my danger nap was only like twenty minutes long, so right. don't make me sleepy. <laughs> Last time, I don't know how... moon kissed. Bye, bye. Okay, thanks. Twenty minutes okay. of powering up. <laughs> um. So. I, I want to say last time on Mooncast, but now I, I'm in Dragon Ball Z. Like, last time on Dragon Ball Z. Um, yeah. <clears throat> last week, we met... Well, to begin with, we uh, had some hunting times. We finished off the hunt uh, for Bison. Managed to uh, separate a... I think you went for a, one of the younger Bison, uh, Ulysses and Whisper, right? And then uh, uh, North and Persephone went for a bigger one, which North happened to be attached to already. Um, some really nice pack tactics, working together to take down the, the beasts. Uh, nice little bit of food. And then uh, they were... They encountered a strange man who was just wandering the wilderness went up to go and talk to him and eventually through a bit of conversation found out that he is a werebear also known as a oh no i don't have my notes i don't know what it's called off the top of my head do i have it in my notes ah um gural which is werebear um had a little bit of a chat with him but not too much was discussed as they were a bit cautious of him he did apologize for stepping over the boundary um which uh, north was aware of because he was like a little bit alerted of that um persephone was very curious about turtles on the fact that he said he was a healer he did say he was a healer and um he also uh uh, mentioned totems, which none of you are sure what that means, but uh, uh, he helped, he shifted into uh, big bear mode, which was about 12 foot tall and muscled to fuck, and uh, offered to carry, <laughs> actually just carried back the bison by himself and buried it under the snow for you. Um, you have cut off a little bit of it, and I think, was it Ulysses was... Uh, Preparing um, some? Persephone was Persephone doing was some chopping. Preparing a little bit of bison jerky. I'm not really sure where, where you're going with the preparations. I, I don't know. I was just making different. There's so much of this bison. There is. <laughs> Prepping some hot meals for now. And then a little bit of jerky for later. You know, we got some steaks and some, you know. Bison burgers. Bison, bison, oh, bison burgers. Don't really Can you do bison the... bacon? Um, I don't know. I might not be fatty enough. Mm. I, I have very little knowledge of bison and. Look <laughs> this up. Okay, let me know. Um, aside from that, you also went to check on the thing that you are, as a pack, protecting. Uh, and we, as a, as a new encounter for us, uh, found out that you are protecting uh, in a little cave as you go through, like, narrowing passages that kind of uh, separate and, and reconvene together. At the end, there's, like, a little, um, there's the, there's a little, uh, sconce? No, not sconce, that's the things on the wall. Um, little chamber. 
with a kind of strange spur of minerals that looks like almost looks like water kind of like spurting out of the earth except for it's red and crystalline uh which in the middle of the of the i hate saying this word but in the middle of the spurt is an egg which uh seems to be stony and a little bit scaly and i believe once you checked on it and everything was good you uh went back and were just waiting for uh Vaughn to return back as he'd gone off to get his gear and his clothes which he took off when he turned into a giant bear and no one brought back so he was like oh, that's fine i'll just go get them um bison bacon is indeed a thing okay yeah so i'll be making some of that noted noted um, you know what? Let's get a uh There we go. Uh let's get a roll of There we go. Um of uh I would say intelligent survival. To or see... just making stuff? For, to, um, you'll be able to make food out of the, uh, out of the bison. It's just a question of, um, what type of food and how good the food, more than anything else. Okay. Hmm. One success. Okay, okay. Um, yes, you well. are able to make some things nothing intricate so it's more like meat patties and um and like strips of, like like long thin strips of meat and, and etc moving on towards bacon but not you know not specifically not specifically bacon um mm -hmm. it's, it's a lot of like like uh chopped up meat chunks that can be thrown into a skillet easily and just kind of fried up and then you have you know the equivalent of bacon bits just available to you to just kind of snack on or like a few like slightly larger bits which is literally just holding a steak of bison in your hand just kind of burn out. ends uh depends Ooh. if you wanted to do it on purpose or not i mean what? i'm just cutting this thing up i'm not oh. like i'm not cooking anything right away so all right all right so yeah looking looking good so far um, you have a bit of time until Barn gets back. So if you'd like to refresh anything or discuss anything first, it is a possibility. Or you could just be kind of kicking around the cave and, uh, and relaxing. Tidying up a bit. Tidying up a bit, if you like. Um... It, it's, it's possible that you could, you know, have, like, a curtain... Or something like to cover up the entrance to the to the further into the cave um or you know anything like that but uh it could just draw more attention to it like yo where's why is there a curtain up in the up in the cave i'd probably be asking uh probably whisper honestly i'd be like I whisper can you help me out with this? I just, you know, just see if you can grab the bones or whatever. But don't break them, because I want to make sure I can use them, clean them later. And... Sure, sure. Yeah, so just be passing over, like, chunks of meat and stuff and having her kind of, like, carve through uh, the animal, like, breaking ribs off and stuff. <laughs> does, does, <laughs> does anyone have... Uh, craft, like much craft. I have two. Uh, <laughs> I, I would, I would say two is uh, appropriate. Um, if anyone would want, because we didn't go into specifics, you know, we weren't sure exactly what we'd be doing and what we'd be using. If anyone would like to be able to whittle and like mold with bone, um. I could probably ask North about it too, actually. I I, I could see it being a, a thing that North could do, um, if you wanted. Maybe I break off a piece and I just like 
chuck it at North. I'll just be like, hey, North, you can do something with us. <laughs> North is currently in his wolf form. Yes, yes. Though. Oh, well, so I just chuck it. I chuck so it like at his bedroll. He kind of bites it. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not for biting. It's it's not a fetching toy. It's a a whittling thing or something. Sorry. There there are enough there are enough bones. Like it's fine. There's more. Like yeah. <laughs> you can chew on that one. There's still some marrow and stuff in it too. Yeah. God. Sorry. Chew I on forgot. <laughs> give you each like a, a rib or something just to save it for the marrow and just like yeah you know, it's a treat here you go like <laughs> oh god actually Silly. i'm gonna shift into human form okay uh, do i have to roll for that right now um not here uh if you want to shift between human and, and standard wolf it's fairly easy for all of you uh, especially the more you do it as i've said before um in a crunch situation i may have you roll but uh for the mm. most part back here you can just shift in and out okay i'm gonna be a, a human for easier communication <laughs> that's fair enough you can still communicate to a certain extent it's fairly basic and but uh, it's possible. You want me to whittle this? No, make it into some kind of tool, or uh, if you can use it for anything. There's lots of bones here. You can make something out of it. I start. I, I pick up a knife and I I start just kind of shearing off bits to make it into a a pointy stick oh, uh, <laughs> to start off with um north uh, I, uh like because we don't have like specific crafting for anyone yet because as, as i said you know we didn't really have anything specific for you to craft starting off the the campaign would you like north to have been you know experienced with whittling bones and creating things out of bone yes i think he mostly uses it for decorations yeah so yeah uh, around the cave there are some um like miniature figurines they're very they're not like detailed you know chiseled but there's like figurines of like wolf shapes and human shapes and there's even actually a bone flute which is uh, like one of your larger kills, I think it was an elk, um, has been kind of like whittled down and then hollowed out. And you can you can blow it and kind of use the, the holes to um, make some decent sound. It's not perfect, obviously, but uh, considering the tools at your disposal, pretty damn good. So I'm sitting there like flicking bits of bone everywhere. <laughs> Yuli, why are you cleaning up? But we can't hear you. Okay, I was just being quiet. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, you're, you're oh, good. I was just being quiet. Okay. It's polite, North. You know what's polite? Telling people when they're gonna, uh, you're gonna arrive, like. We don't know anything about this guy. Said he was going to get his stuff. We should have honestly brought his stuff, you know, with us. I meant first thing. Just turning up here, pretending he knows all this. And he's Probably. like, oh, let me stay at your place. Whatever. We offered. He was going he to could keep have declined. traveling. He could have, but we didn't. Plus, it's not like we really have like a post office around here. He couldn't really send a letter ahead of time. I don't think he knew we were here. Although, I don't know. He said that. 
I don't know if it's really true, but... You can ask plenty of questions, which is why we, I wanted to bring him back to chat. Oh, Norse, see. maybe you can make a, 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 a box, like a mailbox, out of, out of bones. That sounds really creepy. Let's see what I can do. <laughs> is that a thing? Like, when you were a human, did, did you see lots of mailboxes out of bones? Is that around Halloween? What's Halloween? Oh, this is really, really fun holiday uh, where you dress up like something, like, like a scary monster, and then you go around and people give you candy. Oh. People, people like to dress up their uh, houses or, or caves, I guess, uh, with, you know, spider webs and stuff to make it look all creepy. Oh. Mm hmm. Oh, uh, sidebar, Why? sidebar for you, North. Um, you, ha I don't think you've probably done it much, but you have the knowledge of it. Uh, you can boil up bones to make glue. It wouldn't, hmm. it wouldn't be particularly like you know high quality or anything, but it would do in a pinch. Okay. Anyone want any glue? <laughs> okay. Well, Barn seemed to know things about wares that we don't, as though other where creatures exist like bears and something about totems what's that mean though can we trust him we don't have to trust him to ask oh. questions and judge the answers or you could just we beat him up and send him on his way I think let's try diplomacy first, North. Also, hmm. it would take all of us to beat up that guy, I think. Nah. North, you and I both know, as the two, you know, uh, beefy ones here, that that would be actually an effort. I could they take him. Seem kind Easy. of big. Okay, I could well, I mean yeah but, but big doesn't mean that much around here with even with us four like big means nothing Okay well it's not what we're here to do so we're here to protect this thing Yeah and, and if he ends up threatening whatever this thing is then we'll oh, yeah, then show we him on his way We'll do what yeah. we're here to do well, Of course he might teach us something. He might teach her something. That'd be cool, right? I, I don't know. Maybe he's got more turtle water. I'm totally cool with killing and eating him if he turns out to be a butthole. I'm not right? gonna eat him. I don't like Why talking not? to my food. I guess that's kind of true. I don't know. I'd eat him if we had to kill him. But first, we should maybe le learn something I, I don't know i don't know I'll, I'll follow your lead on this but i you know I, if it's if it's too far out of the realm of what we need to do um I, i'm i'm gonna put my my foot down we'll tell him to leave if we need him to leave that's not an issue and if he doesn't leave then Make we'll him. deal with that then yeah. We don't have to deal in hypotheticals until that happens, North. I'm ready for it. I'm oh glad. Probably deserves I, it. I'll toss another rib over him, like, just keep yourself busy. And he's not that big. I could take him. So. He's bigger than you. Would anyone who has an ear out please roll me a perception and alertness? Cheapy forgot that the fire was still going. <laughs> La -da -da. My part. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. Okay. Three, six. I just want to add before we get back into it. 
I love that you can name your skills in this. It's yeah. the best. A, a genius that I had not considered before. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Stephanie, as you're kind of like having this uh, conversation and stuff, your ears just detect kind of the crunch on snow as someone is approaching the, the lip of the cave. Well, uh, are we done cleaning? Because we might have a guest soon. And then all of you would hear um, from outside. I am here. Uh, do I have permission to enter again? I look over at Yuli. Yeah, uh, you will. I'll like walk to the uh, entrance and and so I'll be like, come in, Bob. Um, he's back in his kind of like tatty clothes. Um, he's got his staff again. And he, he walks in, uh, luckily at the moment it's not windy or uh, the weather is pretty calm, so it's very quiet. Uh, night has just about kind of, uh, turned up at this point, so, like, the sun's gone down, uh, there's just a slight glow on the horizon, um, but mostly, yeah, night setting in. And uh, he comes in uh, and nods at everyone individually and then goes and sits at the fire. Anyone who is paying attention, and if you want to, if you feel it's appropriate, uh, may roll perception and empathy. focused on him right now. Yeah, that's fair. I got three successes. Three successes. Three successes. Uh, I'm assuming you don't want to know. No, North is not. Yeah. He's like specifically grumping and like ignoring yeah. this guy. Um, so for Persephone and Ulysses, uh, oh, and Whisper, actually. Um, he seems a bit withdrawn, and in his own thoughts, maybe, when he was kind of... When he was walking in, he, like, saw you and acknowledged you, but there wasn't, like, the same recognition of someone who's, like, on their game. Um, additionally, for Ulysses, probably a bit more than Persephone, um, he seems... A little bit frustrated and a little bit sad. Are you well, Bon? Um, and he just keeps like he's kinda of sat down, he's got one leg up with his arm on, on his leg. And he's like looking into the fire and he says Mostly, I think. I was hoping when I went to retrieve my gear, I'd run into something I could talk to. But the wilderness something? out here is strangely barren. Are you looking for something? For someone? I was hoping to, to find some insight from the spirits, but... There are no spirits here. Spirits look like... And he like turns and looks at you. If there aren't any here, then... I guess it makes sense that you would know what they are. Would you care for a drink? I'm fine for now, thank you. Oh, oh, speaking of drink, uh, remember the turtle water stuff that I talked to you about? 
I remember you mentioning something about a turtle briefly, yes. Okay, well... And I get the shell out and I, I show it to him. I'm like, cool, huh? It just kind of showed up. I think I pulled it from a dream. And he, like, reaches out slightly but holds before he touches it. What? Is this a fetish? What? <laughs> no. I don't- what do you mean? Oh, oh, that kind of fetish. Oh, um, I don't know. I- I just- I had a dream, and I was chasing someone who had a turtle shell on their back, and then when I went to grab onto the turtle shell, I woke up and there was this turtle shell beside me. With water in it, which I drank. Which tasted kind of funny. But it was kind of good. Have you ever drank turtle water before? I can't say I have. Is this something that is common? Do you have any of you dreamt of such things or experienced such events before? That's my first time. Did you guys? Percy no. seems the first blessed with that. I've been told about some spiritual stuff, you know, from our forebears, but um, not much like this. And not in a lot of detail. So. Maybe it is a good sign. Possibly yeah, a so. portent of revival. Revival of what? Or who? Turtles? Those aren't good for hunting, though. Hurt your teeth. Yeah, they just hide. Right? Yeah. It's kind of like a fun game, though, if you try to, like. <laughs> And why did this thing happen at this this turtle water dream happen at the same time you turned up? Is this your shell? It's not my shell. I believe it's your shell. Possibly Possibly a faded spirit is grateful that you managed to make contact and wanted to leave something with you. Part of our reason for existence is communion of spirits and working with them. Part, wait, part of your reason or part of our reason? Uh I'm hesitant to divulge too much because I do not know enough about your pack, how and why you are here, what Just your chillin'. purpose is. We gotta live somewhere, right? That's is true. This it place is. is as good a place as any. No one bothers us. Except sometimes... Well, we've never really had anybody come by like you, so... Yeah, mostly no one's bugged us here. It's... Dang. Possible that that might be the reason why your pack... ...set roots here in the first place. I... If some of my guesses are correct... It would make a lot of sense. However, I worry that the wrong... 
informing you on the wrong things, or giving you pieces of information that you may not need but might want to know, could divert your purpose and lead you into danger and trouble that you aren't prepared for. You're not our leader, and we know what our purpose is just fine, thanks. So, if you're going to tell us, tell us, but... We're not so easily distracted, Vaughn. No. Um... I would assume that... Staying here... Is... Not always the easiest of options. Where else would we go? This place is great. We have hunting. We have a safe sheltered place to sleep? What else do you really need? This is just our place. We're here because it's our place. We claimed it and we like it here and that's that. If you want to share info with us, then share info. Knowing more hardly could hurt. Right? Especially since you stumbled into our territory. Just saying. I was following my path. It's not always an easy thing to do, and I'm worried about... Now, if my path brought me here, possibly I have a reason to be brought here. And I worry about straying from that if I tell you something wrong or unnecessary. Okay, well... Can you tell us something simple? Or what? How, how about you tell us, uh, I, I guess, mm, oh, uh, well, I don't know what the information is, so I have a hard time kind of guessing, but why don't, why don't you tell us um, uh, more about the spirit stuff? And because because you're on this path, and like a sounds like like a a spiritual journey of some kind, right? If I'm guessing, uh, educationally. Mm, it's not specifically a spiritual journey, although I'm sure the spirits are helping to guide me on my path. More, it's a journey to discover. I set out to discover more about myself and more about others. And so. what have you learned so far? Or is that really personal? I'm sorry, that might be really personal. I've learned... little so far, but... I've learned that it is very isolated out here in the north and has a certain appeal of its own the bear in me finds it very solitary and very appealing and the human in you finds it lonely And what kind of led you through here? A feeling? Instinct, maybe? I was making my way across the north of Canada, and I decided to trek through the mountains. Have you met anyone else like us? Not for like a you? while. My kind is very, very rare. Hmm. There aren't Were you? that many of us. Were you human first? Or the cool bear thing? Just curious. 
I was born to as a bear. Oh, cool. Wow. I had must my been... first change a few years later. That must have been interesting. It was pretty freaky for me. Luckily for me, some of my people found me and... Long story, but they... Brought me in and taught me the ways and... Inducted me into the things I should know. of the fetishes perhaps are they something you wish to tell us about I'm not sure it's my place and with absolutely zero knowledge I fear it would only confuse us instead of teach or instruct. You, you've been led to this place, Barn. Perhaps it would be a failure for you to not assist in some way. Maybe it's not you that needs to learn on this part of your journey. Possibly. That's part of the reason I went hoping to find some guidance. I just worry that with no experience it could be dangerous to start bringing the world to you if you've been isolated as a pack for so long. You said yourself there's no spirits here. If you're following spirits, you're in the wrong place. Yeah. And if you're worried also... about them being dangerous to us, then don't be. You're just one guy. It's not like you... I mean... It... Did you bring other people with you? Did you tell other people we were here? Whisper. No, I'm traveling alone. Part of my journey. And I don't know who I would tell. Okay, okay, um, what is the most basic thing that I, that you'd need to know about the spirits? If you wanted to... Our dear Percy will figure it out on her own. Is that not more of a danger? Do you think? So... I, in my experience of the spirits and of a multitude of other things, are from the perspective of a girl. I'm not sure I can speak specifically for your kind, but from what I understand, your packs generally have a spirit guide, a totem to help guide you and assist you and bestow abilities and Are they difficult to understand? They should not be. Do they mostly appear in dreams? Rule. 
could I ask you a little deeper about your dream? Yeah, of course. The more specific um, details of it as, as opposed to um, the footnotes. I, I look at Yuli and just kind of like nod. Just, okay, so like, I'm, like, like, careful. <laughs> and I want to relate I want to relate everything in detail to him. Okay. Um, with the, the mist, mist and the, you know, the, I guess it was like, it felt like sh um, a shore of water or something. Or, uh, and then chasing through the mist and like the head buzz kind of feel. Yeah. The, the message on the ground. Mm, mm -hmm, the message on the ground too. After you're finished, he sits there, kind of staring off at the back of the cave for a while. I just look to Ulysses and then look to the bear, like, I will stab this bear if you need me to. Just like, flight, like, not yet. <laughs> Lit vibes. I'm just like, playing with some of the bone, like, I, I can't whittle, but I'm just like, playing with it, just like, fidgeting. I'm really uncomfortable. <laughs> Whisper, would you like to put some, uh, of the food on the fire? For... Sure. Destruction. Destruction. So I, yeah. I also, I'm not gonna suggest um, that you do this, but it is an option depending on how comfortable you feel. Uh, it's been a while since you've like reiterated your territory, so it is an option. But yeah, again. Go and pee on things. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm gonna grab some water and I'm gonna give it over to uh, to whisper and be like about that time <laughs> tank um, up yo <laughs> <laughs> I, I start I start like I like chug the water and then I like put some bison on the fire yeah. and and get it started and, and then I kind of like nudge whisper and I'm like, I'm gonna shift and just go for a walk. All right, I'll be back. You, can, can you keep an eye on that? I put food on. Oh yeah, of course. All right, cool. Um, and I just kind of like go to the edge of the cave and shift and then run out <laughs> to go do that. <laughs> Don't mind her, she's just doing her rounds. Yeah. It doesn't and really it, acknowledge her leaving or you saying that. It's still kind yeah. of staring for now. I, as soon as I shift to my wolf, I'm like obviously much more comfortable and I just like mm. run off and my tail's like wagging and I'm just like. Um, just as an additional, because okay. you guys aren't, aren't super up with your the things you can do as the players. Uh, if you want, you can link up before she goes. If you want to like stay in contact. It, again, it's it's not necessary if you don't want to. <clears throat> That's up to you, Lee. Yeah, I think, like, it, it would be for the best. We don't know what's going to happen with Barn right now, and if we uh, we feel like we need Whisper to... Yeah. It, it, it makes that. sense that you'd be a little... Like, even just someone going out into your territory, you'd be a little bit more on guard just with the stranger yeah, turning up. Yeah, yeah, and, like, just wandering in and not knowing that we were um, okay. here at all. So as uh, before Whisper uh, runs out, uh, kind of comes back to, to Yuli uh, as, as Yuli's like, Whisper, wait. And uh, like takes takes Whisper uh, by the ear, kind of just behind her ear, puts her forehead on uh, Whisper's wolf forehead. And there's just a moment. Um, and then the connection's made and you both feel that kind of like, opening up of communication whereby you can project and, and receive uh, images and thoughts and words. Do you want me to roll for it or...? Oh, uh, yes please. Okay, let me put it. Uh... 
da, da, da. sorry, it's, it's having to. Sorry, sword in chat said wolf tooth connected. Wolf tooth <laughs> connected. Oh no, yes. that's what it is. Oh wow. Manip Probably better than blue wolf. Expression. <laughs> mm. Oh, there we are. Sorry, I couldn't find manipulation apparently. Oh. One. Okay. Not super. No, no. Uh, to the to the extremes of the territory, when whispers further away, it might start to fray. But um, mm -hmm. it'll be like bad reception as a co as opposed to just severed. Yeah. Okay. And, I just like uh, wiggle and like run out, wagging my tail. <laughs> just start uh, um, <clears throat> pattering across the the snow. Uh, do you want to do you want to head up in the direction of like because you the where you took the bison out uh eventually oh no where you met the bison and that kind of area is like the start of your territory you can kind of intersect and then head up that way and then around um sure at, at, at worst you can probably do a half moon uh or like a semicircle uh, and then come back, and then you know someone else can go, or you can complete the circle later on. So. Yeah. All right. Sounds like a plan. Uh, roll me a dexterity athletics, please. Um. Just wanted to see the the progress Whisper is making as you head off. <laughs> Are you just all kind of leaving the barn to? No, I think um, if we're centered back on on us in the cave. Um, after how is is he looking like still to the back of the cave where? It's not the. It's not like the passage that leads off it's mm. just kind of like this dislocated yeah. gaze kind of like thinking yeah it was like if he was looking piercingly or just like phased out okay phased, more phased yeah okay that was that's that's better then <laughs> um it was gonna be a snap to it um i think for the moment um yuli's probably gonna leave him to to daydream but like keep an eye on him and, and trying to be cooking this bison um, so that it's edible <laughs> when it's ready <laughs> um, yeah we don't want to push too much but like yeah. he's come to chat so he's, he's gonna he's gonna talk to us yeah. it just isn't done yet so. there's like a, a, a like a, a gentle scraping as uh, North is still uh, whittling the bone and forming it into something, uh, the crackle of the fire keeps going as a uh, little sizzle with some of the meat now in a in a pan in a skillet. Um, maybe the occasional uh, like slow shuffling of feet as someone moves around and does something around the cave, but it's mostly quite relaxed. After maybe 20 minutes, um, Barn kind of like snaps out of his revelry. So if anyone wants to address him or interrupt him before that. I think uh, you would just look at him now that he's sort of with yeah. us again. Probably offer him like the first little skewer or whatever skewer is ready at that time. Yeah, and he, he kind of like absentmindedly like takes it in his fingers and just starts uh, kind of he, like like pops it in his mouth and chews it a little bit. Like there's probably like a little sliver of it still sticking out, you know, um, just kind of chewing on the on the bison meat. Where'd you go there? I think. I think I can form a picture and a theory as to what has happened here 
and possibly why. It may be conjecture, but I might be able to piece some of it together. Possibly. It goes back quite far, and it's not a happy story. How... How would you know that for sure? Your dream, mostly. Also, a few other things, location, old stories, rumor, conjecture. Okay. Well, um, let's hear it. Uh, incidentally, uh, Ulysses, I'm assuming that through the link you're relaying parts or... You know, yeah, so it's, it's Whisper can be... So, Whisper, you're still part of the conversation. You'll just kind of have to go through Yuli to to get him, like, like verbally, as it were, involved. Sorry, Whisper. I'm, I'm just wondering... <laughs> I'm, I'm, ha I'm, like, so much happier being out of the mm. cave... Like in my wolf form outside being on trees. <laughs> I I'm resolved to tell you what I can of your history, probable history, and what I have figured out. Um before I do, uh I'm must ask a few things and again make a few leaps of conjecture so can i assume and i will not ask the details but can i assume that your pack is here for a reason as opposed to just living here no i think he should leave remember what we're Supposed to Yuli? North. Fine. You can assume correct. I will not inquire as to what or why. It is unfortunate that you have lost a lot of your heritage and knowledge in the process, but I can only assume that there is an important enough reason to be here still. Are you all content with staying here to fulfill your duties? I I'm worried that new knowledge could encourage Wanderlust or a desire to leave, and I would get in the way of what you are here for. Again, we're not so easily distracted. Well then, I will attempt to illuminate some things that I feel maybe you should know. Probably not from me, but I don't see how there are any, there's anyone else who can relay the information and I suppose I owe it to, I suppose all of our peoples owe it to you, so. <laughs> there are 13 tribes of werewolves around the globe. 
when one of you experiences their first change, they are inducted into one of the tribes. Sometimes it is your parentage, sometimes for other reasons. I'm not as knowledgeable as, as one of your kind would be about these things. Uh, m my people and yours are not always on the best of terms, unfortunately. Yeah, I can tell why. I can tell you why if you would like, but maybe I can spare you that burden. No, I think I get it. Throw a bone at him. <laughs> Plunk. Yeah, like, 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 <laughs> on the head. Uh, just like, oh, he's just, he's still just so grumpy to... because it's so much bigger. Than... <laughs> I, I just like have a, a wolfy smirk on my face as I'm mm, trotting get along. Get the feeling from yeah. Whisper, right? Yeah. Like, there's a very clear picture that Ulysses sends you mm. of, of uh, North getting beamed with a with a bone. <laughs> Yeah, I get prasses in the in the head with a bone, and I'm like, but I'm still trying to look cool. Yeah, it's like, Play it it's off. like head, head kind huh. of jerks a little uh. bit, and then just sticks there, just kind of like, I knew Ow. that was going to happen. <laughs> um, so, if there is something you require clarification on, I can try. And I will do my best to fill in the gaps as you request. Aside from that, I will tell you what I can tell you. So, as I said, my people and yours are not on the best of terms. Uh, there are not many of my people left around the world. And, as I said, there are 13 tribes of your people. However, this was not always the case. From what I know, and from what I have learned, there once was 16 tribes. The other three tribes over time have been lost. I suspect you are the remnants of one of those tribes. Huh. What happened to them? Well, I mean, did they have a war? Or did they just die out? Or It is not a happy story. Uh, but I am willing to give you the details as best I can, if you would like to know. Just he like, didn't come, yeah, he didn't come through then, Vandy. Oh, sorry, mm? he, he didn't come through. Oh, I said, please, please do. Like nodding my wolfy head and sending that to. Mm. <laughs> and he 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 also looks at Ulysses and looks at North just for confirmation. No, just scowls at him like he has been for the last fifteen minutes. So nothing changes. Okay. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> oh god <laughs> North is going to fight this bear man at some point <laughs> um, just because something is sad it doesn't mean it should be lost I agree and of all of your kind we probably owe you the most so I'm happy to tell you of the history. Your tribe was the Croatan. Your totem was the turtle. Okay, what does that mean? In simple terms, the turtle was your spirit guide. For your people. Uh, the Croatan were a one of the three brothers 
uh, tribes of North America. You can see there's like a visible look of horror on Percy's face as she realizes how many turtles she might have accidentally slaughtered through sheer play. She's like, oh no. <laughs> A long time ago, there was, there was a great evil, and your tribe rose to fight that evil. In the process, as far as any of us were aware, your tribe was wiped out in a sacrifice to dispel, uh, do away with, uh, banish the evil, along with your totems and spirits. I suspect that sacrifice is possibly why we find ourselves in this situation here with your loss of knowledge and awe and isolation. I will now move on to conjecture as opposed to as opposed to uh, history. It is possible that even though the rest of your people uh, was committed to their sacrifice. Possibly there was still something that needed to be done. And your pack was either spared or instructed to continue where the rest of your tribe was going to death. What this evil was? This is where I worry about telling you too much. Oh. In that if there is If we go into the details of what the rest of your kin are doing around the world, what we are doing around the world, uh, everything on the outside of whatever purpose you have here, you might feel a need to leave and the need to join in or... or but my thoughts is that whatever duty kept you from being part of this sacrifice was very clearly important and I don't want to I don't want to and he kind of breaks off and he uh goes into a faraway stair again for a little while. Uh, he's basically, obviously, deliberating on mm. how to talk about this. Um, he's having difficulty. You don't need to roll, like, perception empathy. Um, talking about this is kind of difficult for him. North gets frustrated, surprise, surprise, and just shouts, well, how about you tell us and we can make a decision for ourselves." I'm sure you're concerned, but that's got nothing to do with you. What we decide is our decision. We have a purpose that we will continue to be following north, and no amount of information is going to change that. I just sent you, sure. yes. like, it's our choice. 
North is right. It's it's our choice, not his choice. Whisper agrees. Very well. The world is ending. Oh! Is evil, that it? Evil is corrupting and destroying our world. And we are fighting against it. It used to be the job of my people a long time ago. It is now the job of your people to be the forefront in the war. So the evil's not dead or gone at all. Your tribe was dealing with a very specific instance that threatened to destroy us all. A sacrifice was made to banish it and was successful. Unfortunately, it led to the death and eradication almost completely of your tribe and your people specifically. Mm. Until this day, the entirety of all creatures who can shift have assumed that your tribe have died out and have spoken with gratitude and respect. Which is one of the reasons why I am now telling you all of this. Historically, my people have no reason to respect or be respectful to your to yours. I'm making a section here because of what I suspect. Well, must have taken some kind of risk, I guess, when you saw us, so. Don't get me wrong, I have met and conversed and learned from other werewolves and packs and tribes in the past. Um... I merely say that there's no love lost between my people and yours. And I'm definitely not indebted in general. Never even met his people. Like, this is all just very, to borrow a, a human word that Percy taught me, Kind of abstract. You just see, like, you'll see he's nodding, like, <laughs> just, like the. Concept. I like lift the leg and be on a tree. <laughs> Immediately, it's, after a, it's that. already an abstract. <laughs> Yuli's like, Yuli's oh. like shaking her head yes and then she's there's like okay. a little sigh of relief, like. <laughs> oh, uh, side sidebar, like uh. You're not, um, uh, uh, um, the only person, just in case people, uh, didn't catch on, uh, the only people connected mind-wise is, uh, Whisper and Ulysses currently, so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so he's, he was like, Whisper, um, Whisper pointed out this is quite abstract to us. You understand why I was hesitant to start explanation. <laughs> but it's still helpful. We don't know everything, and there's a lot of holes in our knowledge, so the more you tell us, the better in this case. I could probably sit here for a good year telling you all the things that you have unfortunately lost in terms of knowledge and lore and stories and history so are we in danger like is this whole like world ending thing is that like 
is that like a tomorrow or next week or next year or like 50 years from now and then i raise my leg and pee on another tree <laughs> the war on evil mm. how imminent is that issue How long does it take to dig half a hole? Half the time it takes to dig the whole hole. It depends how large the target hole is. How can we trust this guy? He's weird. Well, um, I suspect our duty is beneficial to the cause anyway, though some knowledge may have been lost of that too. to cry. We appreciate that. And we would appreciate not sharing our existence. I will not and would not. It was already my plan to keep your existence secret even from my closest of friends. Why? Like, why did he decide to talk to us in the first place? And and why is he being so nice? I think Yui will reply like the uh, the the tribe sacrifice, and if he suspects that we are that tribe, yeah, I guess that's fair. Hmm. Perhaps you could help us with um, technique ban for communing with uh, spirits, is it? He kind of like his face doesn't break but the kind of like fairly stoic uh visage he's had on slips very slightly uh roll me um perception empathy specifically uh ulysses because he looks mm. at you when you say that two uh you see very deep sorrow and Quite a lot of sadness. It's sad. <laughs> yeah. Um, she's not going to break. That's what it is. To move on. Uh, he says... There are no spirits here. And... Your totems are... Either dead or diminished. I, I don't know what I could teach you to get back what you've lost. How is that possible? If I potentially ran into my totem in a dream and I have this shell. Uh, almost a whisper of a dream. There was no direct communication and nothing to indicate life there. Well, how do you communicate with your totem? We talk. Just 
like you and I are right now. I'm gonna pick up the shell and just say hello. There's a little bit of water in there, so don't forget, like a, a little sliver. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna finish the water, like covertly. Well, this stinks. Is there any way we could get the totems back? Is that a thing? Is, is that not... That's what I understood he said it as, like, there's no way to teach us to... Well, he can't hear uh, Whisper at the moment, Oh, yeah. So. Um... I mean, I'm like sharing it with. Yeah, she. With she just like... explained it. Um. Mm -hmm. But like, Percy's connection is new, right? So like, there's an improvement. So can't there be more improvement? As far yeah okay. As far as we know, is this like? Obviously, we only really know the last couple of generations. Is is this something new that's only really happened to Percy? There are stories oh. of similar um, random things appearing or, or like strange dreams that have mm. been prophetic or um, of, of enough notes that they would kind of pass down. Um, nothing, nothing concrete and uh, nothing from the previous generation, definitely. Okay. Oh. But... Um, this dream was new for for us for a few generations, and though there have been experiences of it in our pack, I think I think that it the timing is too coincidental the day we come across each other and the day Percy comes across her dream good point Yuli yeah um incidentally whisper you're about halfway through your run um, so if you want to carry on and do the full circuit, you can, or you can click clip in back. Uh, I'm going to ask Yuli. I'm just going to be like, you want me to come back or keep, keep scouting around? You want me to come back or keep peeing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm on, I'm on half tank already, yo. <laughs> um, um, hmm. I think it's uh we do we do want the whole thing covered but if if she wants to be here she like it's totally up to whisper uh, uh, i will say i'm from hmm? what you know like it, it's been like a week or so since it's been you know like marked yeah. out but also it's not like you get encroached it, it's a mix of tradition ritual and just habits like mm. all of those kind of knocked together also it makes you guys feel better kind of a bit more secure and safe like, I feel like you, Yuli would probably know that I'm wait. I'm like a bazillion times more comfortable as a wolf than I am as a human. So, like, if I come back, I'm probably gonna stay a wolf anyway. Yeah, you so. is like, I, I would like it covered, but if you want to be in this conversation, then you can come back because this is like a big deal. It's not oh. like a I'm gonna tell you what to do and miss out on this first hand. I, I feel like you're representing me just fine. I'm gonna keep being. <laughs> and you keep um, being. Yeah. Please roll me a dexterity athletics as well. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that makes sense. <laughs> um, here's a question for the other three. Uh, would you all be be just as comfortable if, like, Yuli was the only one talking to this guy, like, representing you as a pack? Yeah, I, honestly. 
Oh. North was a bit unsure, but like now that Yuli said what he was thinking about, like uh, it's a bit of a coincidence. Like, yeah, pretty oh. much. Cool. <laughs> um, at this point, on um, kind of nah, it doesn't snap out, but goes back more stone facey. You know, not much expression. Um. It seems a little bit lighter, like he's unburdened some things from himself. Uh, and says, I... <clears throat> I would be willing to try and teach you. If that is what you want. I don't think I'm the right person to do it. It should be one of your own, and I don't think I will be successful, but as I said, we all owe you if it's something you want, so I'm willing to try. We have no one else around to help. You're the first person who's come by in a really long time, so... It can't hurt. Very well. In that case, um, if it is agreeable, I will go and find somewhere to bed down for the night nearby. You're not staying here? I cannot encroach on your home like that. I just I look over at Yuli. And yeah, you'll just get like a like a yeah. He's not staying here. <laughs> so, well, uh, I will um, be comfortable enough as a bear. Oh, okay. I was gonna give you a fur or something. Uh, no, take no. some meat for the road, at least. I appreciate that. And like, takes a couple of a couple of little portions. <laughs> <clears throat> and, uh. It might be a little bit presumptuous, and here he kind of like sits up on his, uh, like kind of sitting on his legs, uh, kind of wraps his legs underneath him and, and sits in kind of like a kneeling position. Um, he says, but because I'm not telling anyone about your pack ever, I feel like this needs to be said. And he like bends down until his head is like touching the dirt in front of the fire and says, uh, Words cannot express how thankful we all are for your tribe's sacrifice. It is not understating to say that you have given more than anyone should ask and anyone should give. Thank you. And then he like gets up and like twists around and walks out the gate. Um, anyone who is paying attention, uh, perception alertness. That include me. Uh, you're not back yet. Bison. I think we're all sat there like, oh, what just happened? <laughs> three, three successes, sure. Uh, North, are you again? Yes. Oh, you are doing it. When? Well, North doesn't see it, but uh, Persephone, Ulysses, you see two very faint, uh, like darker patches where he was bowing down. Like he was crying. Oh. <laughs> That guy's a dick. I throw, I whip a bone as hard as I can over yeah. north. Kushmak. I think at this um, point Yuli would also throw one. <laughs> like a small one. Ah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's like a it's like a small one that's been partially cut and it just like sticks in your cheek slightly and then falls. Ah. Um. So, it's getting later. So anytime you want to go to sleep, 
is perfectly fine. Barn himself is heading off to shift into a bear so he can sleep for the night. Uh, carry on. Partial, part of the reason Barn left was because she needed to pee. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. <laughs> and North doesn't notice. So yeah. he's going, yeah. Are we the good guys? Yeah, we're great. I think. <laughs> we're, I'm not we're really sure. Like, you're welcome. You're planet welcome, Earth. planet. Yeah, all the werewolves, yeah. all the werebears, were squirrels out there. What? We saved you all. Now pay us, worship us as gods. <laughs> <laughs> God, is this what it's like to be born a wolf? It's just God. <laughs> What yeah. is happening? <laughs> <laughs> you just need to pee on things and be worshipped. Oh, wait, that might be cats. <laughs> that is definitely cats. <laughs> God. Um, I mean, Yuli's going to wait up for Whisper to, to finish and come back, so... She's... Just, just pretend me raising my arm is me raising yeah. my leg. <laughs> Yeah, she'll be saving I'm like... some food and stuff. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what dear. was the name of the the clan? The Crow Croatan. Croatan. Okay. Um, page four. C R O L ten. Yeah. Um. I think you were just gonna look at. Percy, because like we we both know that we saw the the teardrops. Like, well, you get to learn a new skill tomorrow. Apologies. Not that it's gonna do any good if he says there's no one to use it on around here. Shut up, North. Why are you gonna be such a bummer? Because. That guy is sus, and I don't like his stupid furry face. Yeah, well, I don't like your stupid furry face sometimes, but I still put up with you. And I put up with you and your stupid face. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Can, can you tell that they argue all the time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well... I'm going to go check on the thing. Good. Uh, whisper. Oh, what was your oh, Dex Athletics roll? Sorry, I didn't. Oh, uh, I think it was like two successes. Two okay. successes. It'll take a little bit more time for you to get back. But you, the, like fairly soon, you'll be able to bust into the cave like, yo, what up? My my raising my arms is me miming raising my legs, so mm. <laughs> um So what what did I I miss for for, for uh, we were we were like oh that's we were out of character doing like that's that's it. Are we um, the good guys? I'm sorry. I, I said and we were the good guys and we pee on things and the world should worship us. Yeah. <sighs> Are you, are you sure you're talking out of character? That sounds like whisper. <laughs> I mean, there's a, there's a definite split between like the human-born characters and the wolf-born <laughs> characters here. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, maybe somehow that we're more humble. Too. Like I told. <laughs> like oh, um, I think I just channel my cats whenever I <laughs> play uh, anything. Yeah. Not me. Yeah, Yuli's just gonna wait for whisper and saving some food for her as well. So okay. Probably plate somewhat for North, even though he's being a bit of a. It's good to be suspicious. That's it's not. It's, it's just, she's not going to be mad at him for it. Yeah, I mean, it comes from a good place of like mm. protective and. Plus, she accidentally stabbed him with the bone, so. A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> um, okay, I wanna, I wanna bring the turtle shell down to the the egg thing. Yeah. And I just want to sit with it for a bit. And like, look at the turtle shell, and just be like, "Hey, turtle totem, 
I don't know if you can hear me, but apparently you can talk or something. So I'm all ears whenever you decide to talk or something, if you're there, I'm just gonna like mumble and like just kind of talk or whatever to this turtle shell. <laughs> How long do you sit there for? Like, until I get tired. I just, like, I'm just, now I'm sitting there, I'm like... Yeah, yeah. I mean, again, you guys don't have much to do, uh, in general, aside from hunt and, and, you know, carry out your duties, which is, god, this place. Mm -hmm. So, um, it's not weird for one of you to just be like, I'm just gonna sit in a corner for a day and just think, or chill, or read, or whatever. Um, in that case, please roll me a stamina and primal urge. Okay. Uh, stamina, primal urge. Five successes. Okay. You feel a drain on you. Like, it's happened before, a, like, but you guys don't tend to come in here and, you know, like, stay here for long periods of time. As the time goes on, you start to feel like... Not... More, more like, fatigued and that that feeling of like burning passion uh which helps you shift and which helps you um use things when you use them uh just like it's, it's kind of like flickering and and just like uh it's dampened and you realize like in this room uh your thoughts are a bit sluggish um your your emotions are kind of dampened and kind of like, not flatlined, but just they're, you're a bit more numb in here, just in general. You know, like, you can barely feel the shell you're holding, and, like, you, you, you probably start off, like, with a little bit of kind of, you know, sitting in the same place, getting a bit stiff and getting a bit, you know, but you don't feel that anymore, um, etc. Mm. But nothing happens. All right, if nothing, like, eventually, if nothing happens and I'm getting tired, I will get up and go to bed. Okay. Uh, at this point, uh, Whisper has returned in full form. I'm just wagging my tail as I walk in, mm. sniffing around. I come up to Yuli and just kind of, I'm like... A little bit, um... A right? little bit condensed with water just because snow melt you know snow get on you snow melts so you yeah. probably shake off a little bit before you come inside unless you want to specifically shake off onto north don't shake <laughs> the pee snow <laughs> no i think i think like like at the entrance but not in the entrance i'll just go <laughs> and, you, and do the, the thing you also notice <laughs> uh like new human tracks heading off like to the to the left as you exit the cave. Um, as yeah. you come in, it's off to your right, but it's as you leave the cave, it would be to the left. I just kind of sniff those, and I think before I actually go in, I'll, I'll send you, like, do you want to go check on him? Um... I think you will want, want to the cave entrance, and... Could... Top um seeing as you're sending this and this is to yuli uh yuli you can ask the others what they know about bears but initially could you roll me an intelligence animal ken me about uh, bears ulysses okay uh intelligence animal ken <laughs> a one wow mm, if you want you can ask others if they know any anything, you have some knowledge, but uh, you're not 100% on it, so. 
what like where he was going to sleep. Like details about bears, you know, like. Bear facts, mate. Uh. Mm, no, not before I go to the daughter. Because I, I was just gonna basically go and say, um, no, because we we need to have a certain level of trust. Okay. Well, um, um there uh, their eyesight isn't very good. I'll give you that from what you rolled. Okay. Uh, in terms of like hearing and smell and etc., less. Sure. Mm. Oh, you mean like if Whisper would um? Yeah, if if be, Whisper was to caught, go yeah. and, and uh, creep mm. on farm. Um. But it's dark anyway, so. Yeah. I think Whisper that we need to show we trust him enough to bed down. So, so I come back inside. Um, Just pat your head a little. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna do that, and then I I'm gonna shift to human, oh, but only okay. because he's not here anymore. Yeah. And I, like, I know I need to, <laughs> so I like I need to do it more. So I just kind of okay. like, yeah. Um, it's like stretching right. before you go for a run. It's like I need to, I need to remember to stretch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like I don't like it. It's boring, but I gotta do it. <laughs> I'm gonna break off the uh, wolf tooth because yeah. <laughs> you can speak. You don't need to. <laughs> and I just like do the shift, and then just like wrap myself in my furs and just kind of stay in my little bed area. Yeah. <laughs> Just kind of like try, trying to braid my hair. I'm trying to do the thing that Percy taught me, but I'm very bad at it and I'm failing and I'm just like, eh. yeah. Yeah. I kind of feel like Percy is the uh, the pack um, hairdresser. Like, <laughs> yeah. like wolf, wolf or human. She cuts <laughs> yours hair. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, like, easily. Yeah. I'm just kind of like, it doesn't matter which. Uh, which form you're in, I'll just be like, hmm, what can I do with your hair today? Like, braid your tail or, you know, maybe make your, your ruff look a little bigger, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Style a little wolfy mustache, you know? <laughs> Ooh. So, anyway, yeah. Is there any more conversation or anything you'd like to have before you bed down? I think you is just just thinking about all of it and like that how much even with the small amount he's given us of our, of our past tribe history it's like how much we've lost yeah. um and how much the, yeah, the the world is ending from evil whatever that means whatever that means but i'm sure that our egg is a fair pod and <laughs> We're looking after our egg right now. Does this adjust any of your thinking as towards your duty? God um, regarding an evil egg. The point of the pack. I mean, like, yeah, that's one of the things I was going to ask. Like, you never knew what it was or what its purpose mm. is. And I guess you still don't. I feel like I would assume from what he told us. Because... I never, like, I feel like as a wolf, right, whoever picked me up and, I mean, I guess it, it would have been Eclipse, right, that picked me up and brought me to the pack. Um, and I love the pack. They're like, my buds, they take care of me. Um, and I take care of them. And, like, I just would believe in it. You know what I mean? I would I would believe in whatever he, I was told was our duty. And so if this bear dude is telling us that our, that, like, we're protecting the world from ending or helping or something, that I would just, like, assume this is an extension of that, even if it's wrong. Like, I would just... My thinking would automatically go to, oh, so we're saving the world. Yeah. Man, people should freaking be nice to us. <laughs> I mean, you don't meet people for them to be nice to you. <laughs> right, but, like, but like they don't know it, but they yeah. should be. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I would assume it's for the 
for the benefit of all those others that I don't ever want to see because that would be really uncomfortable. Mm. <laughs> I think for your seats, it's like this is it. If if our pack has been chosen to like guard it, he's he's right. It has to still be important, but it feels a bit like we need to maybe know more about why and thinking about how we'll find that out and that's part of the want to talk to the spirits so yeah. we can like is is this that we have to guard it from the end of the world is it going to be beneficial to joining this war and like is it going to help the world to still look after the egg like it's still our duty and it's still like we don't know anything clearly so it's not like we're just going to run off and join a war and be five kinds of useless so just more knowledge please there's also a part of it too that in a way and in like kind of a warped way it's like all right we've already saved the world once now we can do our duty which is this which is really simple and not as much of a sacrifice as like dying and you know we're clearly doing something that's supposed to be useful. So, I mean, it's almost like thanking your forebearers for like doing the whole sacrifice thing so that mm. we can sit here and have the really easy task of sitting here <laughs> yeah. and guarding this thing. So, yeah. It's probably a hard concept to like wrap your guys' head around as well. The fact that like, there's a like your your tribe is like revered for their massive sacrifice something that you only just found out and know nothing of like the details and everything so. we're just bored like 80 percent of the time yeah yeah so, like, <laughs> yeah we're just like oh we're we're, we're freaking awesome okay <laughs> like, yeah there's, that's, that's there's that's a lot cool. of that's a lot of stuff you. <laughs> that's like that it's just like oh everyone died to save the world Cool, okay. World's ending? Oh, I guess that sucks. Um, what does that mean for us? Like, I don't know. How much? Doesn't help us, doesn't stop us from doing anything. So, yeah. I, I, think, I think North is getting a bit restless specifically because of this guy. Mm being here at all he's like well partly he's want to like i want to fight this guy <laughs> but also yeah. he he's like doing things that's what will get stuff done doing things we're not doing things why shouldn't we should be doing things yeah yeah okay. um and yes Aside from that, as I said, if there's anything you'd like to do, uh, the, like, I'm assuming, especially now, but just in general, uh, you guys always have at least one person up and on watch and keeping guard. Uh, okay, you know, maybe occasionally going out of the cave if, if you feel it's necessary, but all of that will be assumed. Um, is there anything else you'd like to do before you individually and as time goes, like, drift off to sleep? I, I just eat some bison. I think, yeah, well, um, when it's always time to do the watch, probably prepping some for, like, yeah. saving, like, long longer term. Like, jerky or sorting it or something. Okay. Yeah, I just, like, take, take a little... Like, I, I literally, like, go over to where the bison is, I just grab a little piece and go back over to my bedroll and just kind of, like, get all wrapped up and stuff and just go and then I eventually just throw it down and like pass out <laughs> okay eventually not including obviously standing guard when it's your turn you'll drift off to sleep and the night starts to pass isn't it strange sleeping through the night guys weird one. I don't know her <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, Sleep a lot, okay? Like, <laughs> um, something that I don't usually do, uh, I figure is uh, it's a good moment to do it here, 
is if you guys like and also for the viewers um if i feel like a lot of us aren't that up on like werewolf the apocalypse lore and details and stuff so if you like we can talk a little bit about like what you just learned and what it means um for the players and for the viewers and for all of our like satisfactions sure um yeah let's do the thing okay um, I'm just going to pull up the section in Werewolf the Apocalypse that goes into the Croatan. Um, Although, give me two page seconds. Page 40 for one of them. You can start. I just, I also need to pee. Oh, so okay. I'll, yeah, I'll be right back. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, we had a, a werebear turn up and drop some lore on you guys. I am curious, like, because I know of everyone even though it's probably not much more knowledge. Josh has some knowledge of Werewolf, because you've played it before, right? Yes. Do you know the, the Croatan? Uh, yeah, I know I know of them. Yeah. Um, a little I, bit. I, I was wondering if the, the turtle was a giveaway for you, where you were like, oh, I know what's going on here. It wasn't. I didn't, I didn't know much about them. I didn't know the turtle was their thing. Yeah. But, um... Yes. Uh, basically, from the beginning of the session, I was like, "Oh shit, we're we're one of like three different things, and none of them are good." <laughs> but it was that the oh. three the three lost tribes? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I I when was. When you I say was none kind of them are good, what does that mean? Mm, they all have pretty bad tragic. for different reasons. Yeah. Um. The, the, the Lost yeah. Tribes are the Bunyip, uh, who were from Australia. Yeah, they're, um, na they're native Australian. So uh, well, I guess that seems unlikely with perspective. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, you never know. Like, the, world, the world's a weird-ass place and these things. Uh, so, yeah, they, I don't know what happened to them. Um, <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, the, the picture in the book. Croatan at yeah. at this page is glorious. <laughs> no, I, I I haven't I haven't read into the Bunyip and oh. how they. Uh, I th I think they were just murdered by colonists. Yeah, I think that's what oh. happened. I can't remember uh, though. Um, they, they oh they wandered off into the Umbra. Um, but and were Umbra? never seen again. Uh, it, it's I'm not a hundred percent like caught up on the lore of it, but I think it's like the effectively the spirit world Ooh. there there are there oh, are yeah. kind of there are kind of like passages to the spirit world right where you can so the umbra is yeah the the spirity half of how werewolves experience the world yeah like most werewolves exist in the normal world and then also they have an ability to see into or like step into a um a, an ethereal realm that mirrors the world in its like emotional uh, uh kind of state in a, in a spiritual sense so like if an area is polluted in the real world that place will be swarming with evil spirits in the umbra it's like a, oh. a mirror thing cool very cool. Yeah. Mm. Um, sorry, so, mind. like, being us, being werewolves that can't talk to spirits, is like having one of your arms chopped off. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like a bit. He was so sad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it's, it's tried to um, ask with dignity for please. Uh, Please teach us. <laughs> uh, a, a good, a good way to, a good way to describe it is like a, um, uh, it, it would be the equivalent of like a, 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 a biologist, you know, like a, a, re, a, you know, scientist who specializes in like the natural world and all that kind of thing, like turning up to an island and finding like a pack of dodos just wandering around happily and innocently and being like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> what oh, happened to the is. other totos? Uh, 
Yeah, and the, the Dodos are like, hey, so what's been going on in the world? Are we doing good? Yeah, we're like everything. Dodos ruling the world. We're doing great. Yeah, we're mm. having good times. Uh, so, yeah, that's. Um... <laughs> like, he, uh, he went, when he went off and he, he was kind of wrestling with a whole load of things. Because, uh, uh, and this is for you guys. You, you didn't ask, but he, he would have gone into a little bit of detail. Basically, the reason that the um, the werebears are so few in number and not, like, the forefront of the war is because werewolves murdered them all. <laughs> oh, oh shit. no. Yeah. Werewolves murdered a whole bunch of things. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. yeah. Well, like, would he have told us that, like, in the... He, he would have let you know. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I think it... Yuli would have given North a, like, freaking see, this is... Look, like sit up. Yeah. I'm gonna <laughs> find I'm this honest, bear. There's no contextual problems with that. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm being honest, I kind of got that impression when he was like, "Yeah, our kind don't get along." Yeah. Also, there's not a lot of us, and I'm like, "Hmm." I don't want to mark <laughs> that particular. Uh, no, nope. that looks like a tender wound. That I don't went really want to. Um, way over my head. Yeah. Now so, I understand. So <laughs> the uh, the the Bunyip uh, are one of the lost tribes. Um, that sounds like Bunyan and Yip. Mm. Uh, the White Howlers? Ugh, they're, they're one of the other ones. Uh, well, they're not so much lost. People know well, where they are. Yeah, people know where they are. Um, they are now the, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, they're now the Black Spiral Dancers, mm -hmm. uh, who are basically the, uh, the Worm, which is like the evil that he's been talking about. Uh, they now work for the Worm, so they're the equivalent of Darth Vader. Dick um, faces as a as a tribe, they've like been corrupted and um, their story is really sad. No, they're evil, and they must die. <laughs> I mean, yes, they. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean now yes, but originally like they were like the only holdout by themselves. In they were like under siege by the worm, um, and they were like the. I think uh, I'm not 100 percent sure, and I'm just kind of like speed reading this now, but. Mm. They were up in like Scotland, uh, ages back, and then they like slowly descended into corruption and stuff as they were like desperately fighting off the the worm. Um, and then yeah, the Croatan are part of three different North American tribes. Uh, there's the Croatan, uh, the Uktina, Uc and, and the, the Wendigo, the Wendigo. Mm -hmm. And the the Croatan were considered to be like the most even killed. They were called the middle brother. There was like the older brother, the younger brother, and then the middle. Um, and they, uh, yeah, at, at some point, yeah. Uh, so they, uh, no, apparently the Bunyip were slain by other werewolves. I think. Oh, were they? Yeah, that's what it says here. Says where, where the Bunyip was slain by their own, own kin, and the White Howlers fell to the Worm, the Croatan sacrificed themselves to banish a great evil. Uh, to this day, many Guru wish it hadn't been necessary. If only they'd have lived, perhaps the, the Uktina and the Wendigo would not be so close to the brink. Like, etc, etc. Um, so, yeah, like... But it wasn't just the tribe, it was like their spirits and everyone, like, as a whole to sacrifice themselves uh, to banish this part of the worm or like I'm not 100% sure what it was uh, it's uh, further up it says da -da 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 -da. Um, made a stand against one of the manifestations of the worm eater of souls hmm. um, try vanished overnight but they weren't corrupted or pressed into service um but it gives the Garu hope. Because if the Eater of Souls could be killed, maybe the worm itself could fall. Oh, so well. you, you could understand why uh why Barn was like more friendly and like um open and kind of indebted in a weird way to you guys. Because that's like your character's heritage heritage and history and you know man and it's even more sad for him because he's 
like you don't you guys don't understand it's hard to you know like express that's why he was like i don't feel like i'm the person to do this i, mm. I don't know how to you know you see any other bears around yeah like dude it's you, gonna you, be you, you what buddy and, and like consider the fact that you were like maybe you bought friends and he's like i don't have any i don't have many friends they're, <laughs> you know, they're, they're all dead all oh, my bad. friends are dead and it's all your fault <laughs> All my friends were murdered, don't you know? They would know? be, he'd be dead too. <laughs> oh, oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna try and learn how to uh, have a chat. That'll be... Yeah. But yeah, I, I just thought, like, if you guys wanted to know a little bit more, we could... We could... It's not usual, because it's kind of like a break in the show, almost, mm. but... Um, mm. Yeah. I, I assume know. that the next show will be then the end one. I think so, yeah. Um, Judging by our progress today. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Pretty uh, proud of how convincing I was. Yeah, you <laughs> guys, make a very good alpha. You guys, you guys did a, mm. like, and collectively as well. Aside yeah, from North, like who was like. The angry teen in the corner. <laughs> so um, angsty, my god. You you all did a good job of um of like convincing him to give you details that he wasn't sure about, just because you were committed still to your path, but um not yeah. you know, like still curious and and everything. And you know what? Thinking about it, like, next episode will be the last one. I think we only need to do an opening scene and we can probably end the episode. Mm. Really? So, mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah. Why do I not believe you? Yeah, because <laughs> it's cheapy. I <laughs> doubt everyone. <laughs> I'm going to roll for insight cheapy. here. Like, this is... I don't believe y'all listen. <laughs> Even chat knows. Like everybody in the chat knows if Sheepy says something, it's usually not gonna be the case. And something's gonna go fucking crazy. And then there's gonna be like five more episodes. Oh guys, I don't know what's gonna happen today. <laughs> I have no, no plans at I all. Have no plans. <laughs> None at all. This is officially turning into the roast of Sheepy, uh, which poor Sheepy. <laughs> Fully <laughs> deserves. <laughs> How rude we and should, accurate. We should make it. We should make a, an episode called "The Roast of Sheepy." Yeah, the roast of the sheepdog, where we're all <laughs> like, "You have messed us all up, like this time and that time and this time and infinite times." And thank you so much for giving us really cool <laughs> RP opportunity. <laughs> it's not as roasty as is as I was led to expect it to be. <laughs> don't worry, we got to write some material. I mean, oh, okay. there might be a musical episode. Who fucking knows? Like, I just it's, it's feel like, like, don't like joke about that. Do you know how many music? <laughs> oh God, no, please, I cannot. You, can you? Can any of you sing? Because I cannot. Everyone can I mean, sing. Playing maybe, sing but well. not singing. Oh, no, no, no. no. You, you no. step up to the podium and you're like, you know, when you're doing RP with your GM and in an episode and like there are no twists and turns, nothing really happens. No, me neither. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, no. It's. It's honestly, it's amazing because, like, as somebody that's new to to working with Sheepy, I feel like just in my limited experience, and also because of what everyone else has said in his presence, that they don't trust him. <laughs> like, especially Tash, who I love, who like knows Sheepy well, who's always been like, "Don't trust Sheepy." <laughs> in game context, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, right. Not, not, uh, of course, it's, it's of not course. Like, it's not like Tess came into the first meeting we had, and uh, Tash was immediately like, "Look, don't trust Sheep Dog." Look, I don't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> but but Imagine. it's great because even though I expect things to get all fudged up. Like they get all fudged up in the most unexpected ways that I never would have dreamed of, and it's awesome. Ever, ever. Like, and just just wait until you hit the point where he's like asking you if you want to go through some emotional trauma or whatnot. You know, I how already want to explore him? your issues. Yeah, I I sort of already. So so he he. I don't. I, I hope this is okay to say, but Sheepy Sheepy has said that like you basically, like Vandy said to Sheepy like 
mess me up. Um, and no, 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 I have no, no, also no. said. The quote was, fuck me up, fam. Fuck me up, fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, 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 taking your example, fuck me up, fam. <laughs> hey, we have it on camera, on stream here. Listen, everybody's going through emotional trauma. Yeah. Um, Join us. <laughs> it's good You're though. Like, like I now. feel like <laughs> the, the roulette, the roulette wheel is spinning, and sooner or later, it's landing on on Tess. You know, mm -hmm. or more accurately, Nahari. But listen, <laughs> don't do it the day after the surgery. Right, that's oh, no, the only you'd time. You'd be really you... emotional, right? So. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> I on drugs. I might be kind of high, but yeah, I mean that could be interesting. <laughs> listen. It's the therapist you need, right? Like, yeah. just, <laughs> just get it out. Up. Yeah, oh you know, God. whatever. <laughs> Go for it. Why not? It starts so, bawling uncontrollably. Uh, very, very. Uh, I'm just gonna uh, close out the episode very quickly. Um, which oh, is fine. I we, guess we can't just be yelling about shenanigans. Like, mm. <laughs> fun. Uh, as you all wake up. There is a blizzard outside. Fuck's sake. Mm. Came we don't have the time night. for this. <laughs> um, I... As you kind of go about your morning and uh, doing the, you know, regular things that you do. Bison for breakfast. Getting some bison for that breakfast. Uh, as the morning goes on unless any of you want to go check on Vaughn uh, he doesn't show up I mm, how bad is this blizzard like can I go and maybe see if he's okay uh you could yeah but it, it, you're, you've gone out in blizzards before it's just if okay. you don't have to you tend not to because you don't need to uh, yeah, I, I want to make sure this you. guy's okay like okay. like uh, I'll be like, you want me to come? Yeah, you're better in snowstorms and blizzards. Okay. I immediately shift back to Wolf and I'm just like, Rah. Yeah, I'll be like, <laughs> uh, crack. Uh, <laughs> please roll me a perception and survival. Uh, a little, mm. Yes, perception survival uh, to try and, like, you know the general direction he's gone, but because it's a blizzard now, the tracks have been uh, uh, snowed over. Yep, both of us. Yes. I'm, I'm assuming both I'm of guessing. you are, are trying to... Zero, six, you know what? I'm going to re-roll some of those because I actually want to figure this out. Four successes. Four successes, okay. Do I spend one willpower for yes. re-roll three? Okay. I'm so happy to have an excuse to be a wolf so again. Three. Uh, two. <laughs> two. Two suits. Sorry, yes, two. Yeah. As you move outside, um, there's like a little bit of time where um, uh, Persephone is like snuffling back and forward, like just walking over the trail that you can like smell and sense a uh, whisper. Uh, until the point where you just kind of like take charge and follow a straight line and I'm assuming Persephone you want to like tag oh, on the end yeah. there um, you yeah, like right even right. even following the trail you can't really tell very well like you maybe pick up a bit of scent every now and then but uh, Whisper you keep moving um, until you get to a tree where there's like a little flapping of paper and like some signs of uh like stayed like like this is where he slept it's uh kind of like five minutes out from from the cave uh kind of outside the sacred part of the sacred territory um and yeah there's just kind of like a piece of paper like kind of looks like it was nailed possibly into the tree it's just flapping slightly uh I can i read as a wolf <laughs> Uh, you can, but it is folded up, so you just see it's just a blank bit oh. that's like slightly flapping. <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna run up to it and like 
wag my tail and like smell it. Um, I'm just gonna like look towards or see and be like, bear guy. There's also like uh, claw marks just above the, the paper in the tree. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shift back to grab this paper because uh, I don't want to damage it either. Yeah. Uh, and I guess I'll try to read it as quickly as I can before I shift back. When you uh, when you like get to it and, and take it off, it's like covered uh, by kind of uh, like a laminated file type thing. Kind of slotted in there so it doesn't get, you know. Oh, well that's <laughs> fucking useful. Okay, um, then I'm going to... I'm get yeah, I don't want to get it out in the blizzard. That's going to damage it. So yeah, I'll just Yeah, it's it's see-through, so you can Oh, okay. So I will then I'll I'll read it. Um it says I'm sorry. I couldn't risk any more. But I am honored to call you brothers and sisters. And we will end that. No. <laughs> I'm gonna shift back and go. <laughs> yeah. So we f <laughs> we we fade out onto howling wolves and possibly the pricking of ears of two uh, currently human shape uh, werewolves in the cave. Yeah. I'm like, no. what the fudge? And, and I I you woo with Percy. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, Josh, we need it. We need the sound. Please. A roll. There you go. <laughs> it gets me Wait, every time. Is it that one or this one? Can make yourself look like a potato. Uh, no, <laughs> I, <think it's> <laughs> I mean. <laughs> oh my god. So, um, <laughs> we, we've got quite a lot of time, so feel free to take your time, like there's no rush to, oh. to end things, uh, but we'll go through our outros, and we'll start with leader of the pack, uh, Tash and also Ulysses. It's quite fun being bossy, you know, <laughs> but I'm like, so anxious. I'm like, no, I'm taking charge. And they're like, please, is this okay? <laughs> this is in the Discord. It's so ridiculous. Um, it, it's so good, though. Like, we love it. <laughs> You're doing awesome. Because we didn't just, like, we, we didn't plan this. I wasn't supposed to be bossy. It just happened. Uh, uh, That's ori okay. Uh, originally, originally, the idea was that you were the hunt leader. Yeah, it was just supposed um, to be hunting, not, like, everything. And that's just because Ulysses is... is <laughs> The smart one who does all the strategics and tactics. So but, uh, anyway, it's fun. I like it a lot. It's very, it's it's interesting to play, um, and I hope that you guys are enjoying it. Um, yeah, you. I knew you could. You shit. You knew you do something like that. Um, <laughs> what? I didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, what did we talk about 15 minutes yeah. ago? <laughs> um, I I did nothing. Like yes, he, he wasn't he wasn't a secret Darth Vader betrayer who like attacked you all or anything. Even though you yet. were all obviously <laughs> continually suspicious. Well, you gotta and, be like, on guard and suspicious. Yeah. To be fair, mostly north. Mostly, mm, there, there, there was, there was a lot of, there was a lot of He's like fine with that. holding back information mm. and not trusty and. Well, you can't. Trust I wanted that. to tell him about the egg, but also yeah. like inner conflict. Which was also. which was really, <laughs> which was really cool because I could tell a couple of you were like, oh, this guy, he, he's nice and he's cool, and I want to tell him about the egg, but pack loyalty, no, fuck him. No, yeah. <laughs> North being uncomfortable made Whisper super, super sus. Yeah. Of this guy, I was like, if North feels like this, I, I like, I want to know more. But also, if he does like one thing wrong, we're gonna mm. fuck him up. It would just be like <laughs> if if we blabbed to every single person ever, like we'd be really shit protectors of. <laughs> that is true. Thing, so but like... It was it was when you immediately mentioned the turtle dream and details in the last episode. That's when he was like, 
Oh fuck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that, that's like a that's like a big thing. Like their the turtle spirit is gone. Like no one knows where it's yeah you know, in the like standard W twenty lore and etc. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah. So you mentioned that, and he was immediately like, "Oh fuck!" And then he's like, "I'm gonna go and look for some spirits around here. See if I can talk to it. Are there any? There are none around here. Why is that? What the fuck is going on?" Um. Mm -hmm. And so he came back and he was like heavily suspicious. And then you gave the details of the dream, and he's like, okay, this is some fuckery. Um, <laughs> yeah, like that, that's when it pretty much like solidified for him and why he got so sad. Cause it's like, yeah, as I said, it's like a, it's like a biologist finding fucking, uh, dodos. Do dodos, oh, dodos. After, after like three, four hundred years of being extinct, he's like, fucking dodos, where they. The shit that these these things come from. Um, mm -hmm. And they're like, new friend, hi. Yeah. Hi, how's it going? You came to bring us treats and stuff? Oh. You don't eat oh, dodos, right? Dead. Why would you do that? <laughs> Tell us about the other dodos, how they're like mm. rocking out in, in life and stuff. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean they're all dead? What do you mean like, they sacrificed themselves for the good of humanity? Oh, no. Okay. No, in the case of dodos. dodos in the world. And like, what? and like, uh, um, it like to to give you an idea of like his mentality of what he of why he was hesitant to tell you and stuff um it's like explaining to a child how santa doesn't exist or why you know like what happened to grandma when she dies kind of thing it's like the dog didn't really go to the yeah, farm yeah like the dog yeah that type of thing it's it's like it's like you guys don't have the necessary knowledge to understand exactly and he's hesitant about breaking it because he doesn't know how to like mm, break explain. it yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah that makes sense so. it's like anyway. I, it's, <laughs> oh, no, it's, I like i like it though it's nice to pop into like these these shorts and try yeah. try well, different little short stories and systems and for for once it wasn't me like fucking you guys up with uh, emotions and, and trials and I, I was doing it to my goddamn self because i was like oh my god this is so sad for bard i feel so sad god damn it um <laughs> so, so this is what vandy felt like <laughs> <laughs> Played yourself. No, although to be, fair, <laughs> to be fair, when you were going through that, I was too because I had yeah, to. Yeah, well, that one particular, mm. yeah, mm. that one. Oof. I still have, as I said before, I can't I still go back and watch, watch it. it. I haven't watched no. it. I can't. Um, <laughs> but anyway, uh, moving onwards to Grumpy Boy, uh, North, and also Josh. <laughs> you decide which is which. Um, Don't oh. get to fight a bear. Oh. I'm very sad about this. I, I can I can tell you as well. Um, part of the reason he left was because of the hostility from North. Like he, yeah, he, good. He, yeah, it, it's <laughs> okay. Like, consider this. really well. Consider this right. He felt that tension all the way through. Imagine again. I'll use the same analogy. Imagine you find dodos and one is insistent on trying to fight you. Are you gonna kill a fucking dodo? <laughs> that would be adorable. <laughs> Just like nipping ah! your kneecaps. <laughs> so naughty. I could take him. Yeah. And meanwhile, you're like a seven foot human biologist, and you're gonna kick this dodo yeah. straight into extinction. <laughs> oh it would it would be a My bit God. more even than that, but Bond's fucking scary. Like web bears are strong as shit, and that's not even their like strongest ability. Yeah, um... Um, so yeah. Oh. But anyway, sorry, Josh and North. Yeah, that was good. I enjoyed it very much, and I can't wait to see the finale. I mean, oh, I'll, I'll say for the sake of it, it may be two episodes. Uh, I don't know how long the next episode is going to run. Um, so we'll see. Yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. North, North probably will probably feel kind of bad that he's gone, but also justified because yeah. he's gone now. So can't defend himself. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like in the Disney cartoons where the animal like kicks the dirt up as at the retreating whatever it is. Like, ah, yeah, I got rid of you. 
and then like strops yeah. back like mm -hmm. yeah that was all of me you're welcome um yeah, otherwise uh gg okay um moving onwards and upwards i think uh to, to sachka and oh just physically on the zoom call uh to, 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 to sachka <laughs> and, and also whisper um i i love this stuff i just love it like i love i love experiencing different like universes and get getting to exist within them as a different character um and sometimes it's hard like i i feel like uh so whisper the idea of whisper so sheepy asked us if we wanted to make our own characters or if we wanted him to kind of like just make characters for us for this because it's like a short thing right um and he did such an awesome job with the last one and i just like love I don't know like I, f I feel like I'm likely to come up with something that's more just like me or, or more that I like maybe mm. um and Sheepy's more likely to come up with something like interesting so I was just like Sheepy fuck me up fam just <laughs> kind of you know <laughs> um and, and so he gave me a character that's not necessarily easy for me to play like she's um she's supposed to be a certain way especially when she's human it, it made it easier for me to separate like more being more comfortable as a wolf and being really uncomfortable as a human but it's like hard it's, it's almost hard to convey without just talking about the fact that i'm uncomfortable yeah so it like forces me to try to stretch which is really awesome i love that um so yeah it's just been really fun it's been fun. it's been fun plus it's a new story and there's a mystery and everybody's doing cool shit. I love seeing the other people play like totally different characters like it's neat you know it, it's very fun to, like like with the halloween episode it's, yeah it's very fun yeah. to see you guys play completely different characters and, yeah. and enjoying yourself with that like seeing josh play a straightforward angry boy is, yeah. is pretty awesome because <laughs> yeah. i'm sitting here and i know that people in chat who's who've watched josh do shows before is like like from the very beginning they're like he's up to something he's doing something like <laughs> What's he doing? He's doing something. Mm. And I'm sitting there he's like... He's going to betray them somehow. Yeah, yeah. What's up with this guy? Oh, he's suspicious. And, I, and it's just like... Yeah, I'm sitting there like... I'm angry. He, he's, he's, he's the most simple character of just like straightforward and and very, uh, you know, very upfront. Of like, There's no real treachery there or, or, or like, you know, evil spin where he's going to screw over the... Although I might be lying. Who knows? Maybe that's what, next, maybe that's what next episode is. Um, what do you mean he's actually barn? <laughs> <laughs> um, Spoilers, sorry. Uh, and <laughs> also, I uh, I should say like, um, because uh, Tess, you were talking about like it's nice to see new worlds and stuff. Just for the record, because I don't want people who love uh, World of Darkness and also Werewolf coming at me, I sheepify things, which means that you know. I, I go through the lore of werewolf and I'm like, oh, the Croatan, they're extinct. I'm just going to make a pack of them and plonk them in the <laughs> wilderness somewhere because I think that's really interesting. And have them not be like, anymore. <laughs> have them be like disconnected from the spirits and basically just your run of the will mill werewolves with a few weird powers and, and just play it as this like really stark show. Um,. <laughs> So if, if you know. you're at all new to to sheepy things, basically sheepy likes to fuck it up, fam, <laughs> and it's great. I, I have a favorite phrase. I have a tendency yeah. to do that. I think it's uh, fun because then it's not just like the same. Well, not like the same. But I, I tried. I tried to re pay respect to the law mm -hmm. and not like break it and make things that completely contradict or go outside the realm of possibility. I'm just like. I want to throw some shade at 40k here. I mean, 40k is fine because you can do whatever and it makes sense. Um, <laughs> That's it, why am I? I'm just gonna. Except get paid, apparently. Real, so we you know. <laughs> I mean, that was funny though. Fuck. <laughs> oh, earlier when you were doing the uh, the like, first make fucking episode. Roll cooking. Make funny roll cooking. No, no, no. The, no see, that no. was the next one. No, the first time I ever played uh, Warhammer, I was. We were like, okay, so we're gonna go do this thing. I'm like, okay, cool. Are, are we getting paid? And everyone, everyone stopped. Was like, Get for the paid. yeah you get paid the in emperor. honor for the emperor i'm like okay yeah. he's a jerk <laughs> but uh, the the great thing about 40k as well is like even the hardcore 
rules lawyering law strict cat people like they're only strict to themselves and to 40k law if there's someone who's like i don't know 40k law they tend not to be like a dick about it because they're like 40k law doesn't make sense even to yeah like there's so many options isn't there but yeah, yeah that's and it contradicts itself and it makes it, it's all crazy and weird and it's just like you know fuck it like <laughs> Has had a problem with me doing weird things with 40k, so uh, however, finally, uh, wait, did I leader of the pack with Tash? Yeah, I went, it's okay. Fandy next. Sorry, uh, yeah, I was like, I was like, oh, because I was going like, like from Josh up to you, Tash, and I was like, wait, I, I already did leader of the pack. Uh, also, um, I don't know what classification to give Persephone, so I'm just gonna say Vandy and also Persephone. Uh, <laughs> Professional fucked up fam. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I, shots every time that phrase has been said today. Oof. Bruh, fuck, I'd be. Don't, don't play that already. drinking game. <laughs> oh god. Um, no, it was. This is good. I I like, I like this kind of environment where, the RP. It's like hugely RP driven. Like there's not a ton going on. It's more a, a real sandbox for us to discover. Um. And even with smaller uh, instances, I guess, like it's only what three or four or five episodes or whatever it's going to be, it's nice to discover the world that you've built with this, you know, really interesting kind of lore in it. So I'm all about it. Uh, also, the hunting aspect was super fun I really and enjoyed super, that. yo, that was like, that was awesome. Uh, and even just, you know, d discovering this one NPC, you know, was really cool too. And how everyone kind of interacted with him a little differently. So. I, I won't yeah. lie. There is a small framework for that character. Uh, you can probably guess who, but uh, he's a little bit based on Winnie. I was just going to fucking say... Uh, and Winnie the Pooh, because he's a bear, and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I was getting major Winnie vibes, but at the same time, like, I wasn't, like, it, for me, I wasn't yeah. playing a character that would have had that kind of relationship. So in my head, I'm like, yo, this is, like, kind of like Winnie. But then in, in character, I'm like, this guy's just a big bear. He's awesome. And <laughs> cool. uh, the translation of Winona Vaponana. Uh, mm -hmm. is Trusty Bear walking into shade. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Huh. And he's walking. Yeah. Where is he going? Who knows? Well, probably into but... darkness, I guess, right? Probably. No, but it's cool. Um, I, I really enjoyed it, and I thought it was like a... It was an interesting twist. It was the first time I played vampire, or uh, werewolf, rather, so... Same. Uh, <laughs> like... Yeah. I, I've I've vaguely read a little bit of like wiki stuff on werewolf while I'm looking into vampire the masquerade. I have no mm -hmm. experience with it. Um, it's partially why I wanted to run things how I did, because there's like the umbra and spirits and the worm and all these tribes and everything like that. And I'm like, nah, let's just simplify shit and make you guys completely <laughs> just disconnected from everything. Um, and it's, yeah, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that the hunting. Uh, aspect was like a little tester for future shows and future things but maybe it was uh <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. um <laughs> yeah no, it I was mean... cool it's like starting off a campaign at level one you know mm, where you're yeah. just like i know nothing i know nothing i have one purpose and i know nothing and it was just like yeah it's really yeah. it's nice um, to start off as a wee baby. magic missile <laughs> 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 Having like, like char characters for short, so it makes me sad because I don't get to spend as so much. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, I like them now. <laughs> I yeah. want to play more. Well, yeah. the 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 cool thing about this is like in in the future, um, even uh, e even if it's like even if it's just like <laughs> like depending on how things end and and how the the show finishes and and stuff, mm. like. Theoretically, we could come back to Moonkiss for like a snack shot of, of Moonkiss, you know, with some of the characters or one of the characters as like a little, you know, revisiting or even do a show, you know. It's just because I'm 
and just greedy. And if I could have like three games a week, that'd be fine. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I, yeah. I would definitely do more and be exhausted and not be able to function. Yeah, but... I wouldn't be able to do anything else, but that's yeah. not the point. <laughs> I, I, I once, like if I, uh, yeah. I, I, I once uh, was on two shows in a day where uh. it was uh, Monday evening for me and then Monday morning for me. So it was like, it was like 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. and then 1 a.m. to 5 a.m. Ooh. And it, yeah, yeah. So like when I when I was having you know when my sleep was messy and it was in the wrong position, I'd like finish one show, go to bed, sleep for an hour, wake up, do another show. It was, it was, no. it wasn't for too long. It just happened that one of the shows didn't end, like got delayed the ending, and the other show, um, started a bit earlier because it was easier for everyone so they overlapped for a little bit and i was like this is hell this uh, is apparently what hell is um so yeah it's, that oh that sounds yeah. awful it was rough when we were doing a sunday show and then mm. the monday show yeah like which will never happen this. again no thanks that was can we yeah <laughs> jesus christ we need a different time slot. <laughs> it's good as well, like, th this is just something I thought of. Um, some of the earlier shows that I've been in have been, like, American time. So it's, like, it starts at midnight or 1 a.m. And yeah. trying to, like, be in the zone and role play from, like, 1 a.m. to 5 or, like, midnight to 4, it's just such a mess. I've um, never how done does that, that before. It I'm is painful. But then, like, because you're starting so late, you're like, well, I really should do work beforehand. It's not like you're just asleep. Um, and then you've you're just doing extra, and then you get to it. You're like, I. I, I think I think they don't work around your schedule at all, like your time zone. Well, it's like that was the slot, right? Sometimes so it's, it's nice uh, to. Sometimes when you're British, and um, you just have to you just have to deal else, with it. Yeah, everyone else is American yeah. or you know in that time zone over there. It's like mm. every, like, especially if they're working and stuff mm. during the day, it's harder for people to like be there for them. So I appreciate you guys. Yeah, no. Yes. Um, Always appreciates uh, <laughs> American and Canadian cousins over there. Yeah. Uh, getting up early to be on the show. Or, you know, like being yeah. around. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't I have mean, to I just stay up too late and yeah. be good. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, it's like 2 p.m. my time when it starts. So uh, it's not it's not that bad. At yeah, all. Uh, no, I'm it's good. It's super is, doable. It's easy. Yeah. But yeah. Yay! Whoops! Yay. Ooh, ooh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh, yes, and uh, for those of you on YouTube, um, oh, this is the outro, by the way. Sorry, <laughs> right, bye. Uh, right, yes, of course. Uh, this is what we do. Like, yeah. This is going to happen for another at least an hour. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Except no, I'll take my no, wig it's, off. No, it's not. This is the actual outro. <laughs> um, That's a wig? Thanks for no. watching. Uh, go check out everyone's Twitch channels. Uh, everyone here, aside from me, streams like gaming and, and stuff like that. Um, and also there are YouTube channels because Josh does uh, games, but also does RP stuff on Strange Adventures. Yeah. And Did you fake? Oh, Did you fake? Yeah. Coming back? Yeah. Yeah. I need that. Hey man, we're going through uh, each player character's getting a one-on-one, -on -one, so we've already done the Nosferatu, Max, and his backstory. Mm. We're doing backstory of each of them. And uh, mine's next. <gasps> Ooh, have fun! I'm almost it's fucked up. The first season <laughs> I mean, right you know, now. like that's. I I feel like your Stitch of Fate character is just the counterweight to North. Um, yes. <laughs> if you if you want to see Josh in his element as a as a fucked up backstabby boy, uh, go watch Stitch of Fate and check out his character. Although yeah. technically speaking, I'd, I'd say um, uh, I want to say Shuichi. Sa Shuichi it's... Saito. Oh, it's is... like it is Shuichi. Okay. Saito. Yeah, yeah, Saito. yeah. It's the name. I I ripped the name straight out of Uzumaki, the the comic. Mm. So, so that's where that's from. Yeah, we, yeah we, he's we, the he's the backstabby. We had a Shuichi, I think. In um, do we have or a Saito maybe? But uh, who was who was the the Japanese hunter person in in Bloodlust, what's her name? Oh, it's like shit! A, a Japanese, yes, uh... um, I've completely forgotten. 
God damn. Bring up your notes. I'm, 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 I'm going to do it. No, yeah. no, 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 no. Because <laughs> I know what my notes are like. I don't want to send you, like, rolling through freaking... These are my old notes, so they're even worse. Oh. <laughs> um... Sorry, outro, yes. So, uh, thanks to everyone. <laughs> Check out the things that I just mentioned and we got sidetracked by. Um, we will be back next week with possibly, question mark and a shrug, uh, the final episode of Mood Kissed because I don't know how to plan around these freaking players. Um... <laughs> What do you mean? We're we're you we railroad can. ourselves for sure, absolutely. <laughs> uh, and uh, well, actually, we'll just say goodbye to both uh, YouTube and Twitch because uh, I'm not recording again because apparently OBS hates me. Um, so we'll go to a little bit of an outro screen. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the music uh, and everything. And next time, more wolf. A wolf. A wolf. A wolf. A wolf. I'll give you a second for it. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, I, uh, uh, I rule. 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 I rule.